don't. You're overreacting. Just calm down. We need the frame intact. Go ahead, shoot me. Destroy your life's work. I've always had humanity's best interests at heart. You never wanted to help us. You used me. In the service of the greater good, yes. What has the Traveler ever really done? It abandoned the elixir, failed to prevent our own collapse, and now it's blessed the Hive with the light. Absurd. I leveraged its power during the Golden Age. I delivered us into a brighter future. And I will protect us from the enemies of humanity. But you risk everything. Risk our survival. Just because you can't control your emotions. Humanity needs me. You need me. We'll fight our enemies together. No. No. What are you doing? Fighting the enemies of humanity. You should call Anna on the Hollow. She shouldn't be alone right now. You and I can speak afterward. I did it. I... I deleted him. I can't even imagine the damage Clovis would have caused, using Rasputin to integrate himself with the Seraph Station. Maybe I should have stuck to my guns when Osiris first suggested working with him, but... Here we are. Here's Red. Rasputin. With a voice he's never had before. Thanks to the heuristic systems he adopted from Clovis's Exomind code. All I ever wanted for him, to be able to communicate, to be able to share his thoughts, his ideas. And I think, I think that desire blinded me to the risks I was taking. It won't happen again. Be careful, the next time you set foot on Europa. Before I deleted him, Clovis broadcasted a warning to himself. I've only been able to decrypt part of it. They know. control of this exo-frame. I am using a variation of its voice print, but the Clovis AI is once again confined to Braytech exoscience on Europa. It is strange to 
to inhabit a physical shell in this manner. Yet, it is also familiar. Felwinter's memories are now mine as well. I see myself as he saw me. A tyrant who squandered a power that could have saved the world. I cannot say he was incorrect. You have brought me back from the brink of oblivion. I vow to do everything in my power to return the favor. Maintain your current modus operandi for now. I will assess my present condition and inform you of our next course of action. Wake up. I have questions. An odd greeting. I was not sleeping. What does Osiris require of Rasputin? You've been keeping secrets. I thought I was clear the last time we spoke. The time to choose a side has long since passed. I destroyed the Almighty and attacked the Black Fleet. My allegiance is unwavering. Then prove it. There was a city on Neptune, near the time of the collapse. Find it for me. Query. I retain no such information, but lingering references suggest I did it at one time. That can't be all there is. Humanity's hope dangles from their frayed recollection. Tell me where to look! Anything! Well, Winter's data casts you in an old light, Osiris. All these years, and you're still the brash man on the mountaintop, impatient as ever. And I see in lieu of any useful information, you found that haughty tone of yours. We have a shared history. I made the attempt to offer guidance, as your mentor did. Felwinter's memory doesn't absolve you of his murder. Nor does it permit you to teach his lessons. I do not make that claim. Forgive me. I am finding myself again. During the Dark Age, Phil Winter would say, hope persists. Should we have the patience to keep it? Yes. Keep me informed of any developments.